Adi's Kitchen. Today I am going to prepare a very special mutton curry. I have checked my videos. I have not prepared any mutton curry so far. So I realized that okay, I have to make a nice uh, mutton curry. So I am going to cook this on a nice ghee this time. I am not using oil. This is going to be rich and this is very delicious. So let's look at the ingredients we require. I have taken around 800 grams of uh, mutton. This is a bit of tender mutton. So I don't have to uh, pressure cook it for a long time. Uh, this is also along with the bones. I have taken around 4 medium sized onions. I have roughly chopped. Half a bunch of uh, coriander leaves. I have roughly chopped it. Coming to the spices. Uh, around 2 tablespoons of red chili powder. Since I am not using green chilies, I am uh, using 2 tablespoons of red chilli powder. It's also according to your taste. A pinch of uh, turmeric, around 1.5 tablespoons of salt and salt is also according to your taste. Then I've got here ginger garlic paste and I prefer the fresh uh, ginger garlic paste. It tastes much better. I'm going to use around 6 to 7 tablespoons of uh, ghee, desi ghee. And then I am going to make mutton masala so i have taken around uh, 8 to 10 cashew nuts and uh, one star anise one green cardamom approximately 5 to 6 green cardamoms and one black cardamom and then around uh, 6 to 7 uh, cloves and poppy seeds it's just uh, one and a half tablespoons of poppy seeds and uh, i have got around one tablespoons of uh, cumin seeds in this so i am going to blend this to a very fine paste i will add a little bit of uh, water to this and also i have added in this ginger and garlic as well uh, ginger is approximately one inch size and garlic is around uh, five to six pieces uh, you may wonder that i am already using a ginger garlic paste why i am using uh, ginger garlic again so when i am pressure cooking the mutton i need to add the ginger garlic paste which really takes away the meaty flavor so that's why i'm adding ginger garlic paste over there also to the meat masala it's always wise to add a ginger garlic uh, pieces so that it makes a nice uh, paste out of it and this masala will taste excellent so cinnamon stick is also like i think i have taken around just one two small inches of uh, cinnamon sticks so this this is what i have got in the masala so i'm going to finely blend this so now what I'm doing, I'm just adding this one cup of water to the mutton and then this one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. Later, I'm adding salt, almost this one and a half tablespoon of salt and turmeric powder, also this one pinch then red chili powder i'm not completely adding i'm just adding a little bit of it just mix this i'm going to pressure cook this for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes or just for two whistles because this is a tender mutton it's not going to take uh, for a long time but if you have got a tough mutton make sure you keep you have to uh, pressure cook it for about 20 minutes or maybe five five six whistles so just close this <clears throat> while the mutton is getting uh, cooked we will also start frying these onions so take a vessel like this and then i am adding around this is a small tablespoon so I'm adding around 10 of them or even more as I said this is a very rich preparation so I'm going to use a lot of ghee and this is really a ghee mutton curry so people who are worried about oil and fats you can reduce the amount of ghee in this you are free to 
uh, add uh, the amount of uh, ghee you want it so once this uh, ghee is hot enough I'm first going to fry these onions until they become nice and uh, golden brown so I think the ghee is already hot enough I'm just adding these uh, onions just uh, just mix these onions you can also use uh, tomatoes but I don't like tomatoes in this uh, it's not uh, required in this recipe if you like to add a little bit of a sourness so you can add a little bit of uh, tomatoes one or two chopped tomatoes after you fry the onions but it requires it doesn't require really the tomatoes so while these onions uh, are nicely getting fried I'm going to finally blend this uh, mutton masala paste look at this uh, masala paste I have finely blended it this is how you need to blend it you should not uh, blend it coarsely especially you have added uh, poppy seeds if you don't blend it very finely you will feel that uh, crunchiness of the poppy seeds in the mutton curry and that really puts you off because you should have a very thin and uh, heavy gravy and very fine uh, gravy so you will only get it when the cashew nuts as well as the poppy seeds are finely blended so I'm going to add around two to three tablespoons max so the rest you can also uh, save it for the other curries you can use the same masala for chicken preparation vegetable any sort of vegetable curry preparation potato preparation go ahead you can use it any sort of uh, preparations for this masala this tastes excellent the mutton has been cooked for about uh, 10 minutes I, I have already heard uh, two whistles so I'm switching off the flame now so in the meantime look at these onions they are totally uh, brown in color so I have switched off the flame and uh, once the pressure is uh, uh, reduced then I'm going to transfer the mutton also uh, back into this vessel and cook it together now the mutton is rested for a while and uh, I've taken the complete pressure off so the whole mutton has been transferred to this uh, bowl along with the water so I'm going to cook it on a high flame now as as we have cooked the mutton in the pressure cooker it has already nicely tendered so it doesn't take a lot of time for the cooking preparation otherwise normally if you don't pressure cook it mutton will take usually a quite a lot of time so I have added the rest of the red chili powder and half of the coriander leaves to this the remaining coriander leaves I will just use it for garnishing so cook this uh, with a closed lid for about another uh, six to seven minutes after the mutton has been cooked for about five to six minutes I'll just remove the lid look at this beautiful uh, mutton pieces I'm just adding approximately two tablespoons and two and a half tablespoons of the masala that we have grinded just mix it so this is the magic now you're gonna smell an excellent uh, flavors aromas this is when the actual taste you can really feel fantastic you see that how the gravy has been formed the moment you have added the masala the gravy has been formed and I'm just cooking it for about three to four minutes on a medium flame and then that's when the mutton curry will be ready and you always check the salt and the spice level and adjust according to your taste look at this so the masala has been nicely turned into the nice gravy wow what a fantastic gravy this is really the way how you have to cook the mutton curry and I'm just garnishing this with the coriander leaves wow the aromas are really fantastic the flavors were amazing I love this I'm gonna need a bowl of rice okay I'm switching off the flame now 
look at this fantastic curry preparation try this recipe at your home please like this video share with your friends provide your comments and do not forget to subscribe this channel thank you very much